I have here a letter written with vitriol and disgust. The uh, the film review with Tom Percival. I am writing to you to complain about your most recent segment on the guilty pleasure film, that is, Blues Brothers 2000. As Elwood Blues rightfully said in the movie, bite by that ruddy some green onions, the next generation may be left with nothing but recycled, digitally sampled, techno grooves, quasi-synth rhythms, pseudo-songs of violence-laden gangster rap, acid pop, and simpering saturnine soulless slush. What film can boast the likes of Aretha Franklin and James Brown on its soundtrack, hmm? What film has an epic finale involving the king of the blues himself, B.B. King? Does Dr. John, Eric Clapton, Billy Preston, Steve Winwood, Jimmy Vaughan, plus many other blues, rhythm and blues, jazz, funk and soul legends? Blues Brothers 2000 works as an excellent sequel to its 1980 cult classic predecessor because it does things bigger and better. A case in hand, in 1980, they broke the Guinness World Record of the largest number of cars wrecked on screen, with 103 cars. Now, in 1998, with the sequel, they wrecked 104 cars. If I had to defend this film, I would point you towards the soundtrack and its ensemble. But I should not be defending this film, because you, sir are wrong. Signed, disgusted from Tunbridge Wells. P.S. How very dare you insinuate that Dan Aykroyd has been robbed of his natural charm. How very dare you. This man inspired these wonderful sideburns.